Okay, welcome to the plugin hunt theme. This is the demonstration for the latest update, which is version 1.1, 1 .1, uh, following feedback from people who are using version 1. And so there's been a number of changes um, added to version 1.1 1 .1 to make it a more feature packed theme. So there's been a number of features that have been added, and I'll just walk you through those now, and also a number of small bug fixes, um, which hopefully you didn't notice. So um, a very simple one you might notice is I've changed the plus icon. It was a little red plus before, now it's a white plus in a red circle. So if you click that and it pops up your usual form and you can submit your plugins. Um, so that's one, one addition. The other addition was to be able to have this is the flash view, so this was in version 1, it's also in version 1.1, um, but if you look at something that's been voted upwards, so say version this one, so one of the feature requests was to have upvotes actually link through to people's profile pages, so now this links through to the new profile page which has been refined to now show all the posts that have been posted by that particular user. So in this situation, you'll see that because I make a lot of these posts myself, that the content's coming in from me. But if you were to do this for other people, then you'd be able to see their posts. So you can start developing a true plugin hunt, product hunt style theme. Um, so they're the two major additions on the front end. Um, the other updates have been around, and this is, this is a bit of a back-end demo for people who have asked. Um, so it's, this is WordPress running on version 4.1, and the other additions have been to the theme customizer. So you go to appearance, themes, customize, and this is where generally on theme option panels you'll see they'll have different theme options and you'll have everything built in here, but the new theme customizer is actually the way that themes are going these days. So people are recommending that you use this in theme development. So this allows you to go in and update what's going on. So um, you can change your title and tagline. So plugin on best WordPress plugins voted by you. Um, sub submit new post form. This is new. So um, before this was built into the theme, you had to go in and edit files. Now you can just change it here. Um, and these have been made more generic. So now it just says URL name and tagline before it said plugin URL, plugin name and plugin tagline. So this gives you a bit more flexibility. And if you change anything in here, it will reflect in here. And to begin with, it will be blank. So just make sure you do put something in there. Um, success messages is when you post a new plugin, it'll come back to say either congratulations, it's now live, or it will be reviewed by our team. So change the content in here to be whatever you wanted to say. Um, I'd keep these classes to keep the formatting the same, otherwise it would just be plain text. And same on this one, I'd just, I'd just keep the actual div class new post subheader and div class new post header in there, it's just so it keeps the formatting the same. And that's the area, so logo, you can update your logos and it will just appear here. And then the layout, this is whether you want excerpts or full content. So again, what you choose there will depend on what's displayed in the actual index. So for ones where they've got images and whatnot, it'll be, if you have full content, it'll come through. I'll show you a demonstration of that. So if I set it to full content, and then I'll save it. And now I'll just show you a quick front-end demo of what the full content looks like. So it should be showing up on here. Yep, so you see you've got your full content coming through rather than just your lists of um, excerpts like before. So you can actually have quite detailed blogs loading in. Uh, I pref actually prefer excerpts, so I'll put it back to that. And then the other um, main additions to this is a little bit more flexibility around your colours. So you can, so link and highlight colour is all things like the titles. And the up and down arrows. So if you choose that, you can you can pick pretty much the standard one. So let's pick white because we can't see it. 
and then we'll have a look at the secondary color so that's things like the little comment icons so let's go black there they are. so you see they've gone black and then finally is the background color so if I move this down you see wipe it white now so I've made it a little bit of a gray theme if you can go darker there's a number of colors that I've sort of decided to keep where they are so I like the hovers and these background colors but if people think they should be changed then similar I can have the same sort of thing in the next update just send me any feedback and let me know um, I'm not too much of a fan of this color scheme so I'm just going to go back to the defaults but you can pretty much use this to get yourself any sort of thing you want you can go black you can, you can go green you can you can mess around as much as you want or again another horrible <laughs> horrible color scheme but it's nice and easy just to get back to default so play around see how it's content um, so that's the that's really the back end demo it is it's all controlled by the customizer um, it's nice and easy to use and then in a few clicks you can have a nice website knocking around and you can look at profiles um, so one thing which I will I'll say this I will talk you through is on the front end when you go to your public profile as I said the, these are actually additioned and if you actually then go and edit your account you'll see it open like this and you can put some certain things in so about yourself I, I make and I made this theme profile and then when you go and look at your profile again you'll see that it's gone in there so it's actually really a really nice profile page to show you your articles which then still operates in exactly the same way as previously with your flash view and you can, on any of these you can just make comments and say wow what a great theme or in this case a great plugin you'll see it's then been added as a comment and then it's there what a great plugin and then again you can sort of follow it round, and it's just a really nice easy to use website layout and it can just continually keep going and you keep posting new posts um, a couple of other things to talk about is um, the theme my login settings so if you go to theme my login this is actually a, recommend, a required plugin to get your front end profiles looking the way they do you need to make sure you've ticked enable theme profiles otherwise if anybody goes to this uh, your account tab they'll be directed to the wordpress admin panel this just makes it a little bit nicer and users can reset the passwords um, so i think that's all i've really got to show now um, the other er oh, the only other area i've not actually talked about is the add-ons page if you go to the add-ons, you'll be able to see some of the features that we're toying with adding to the next version. So um, these are all handled by voting options. So you'll see we've got the MailChimp add-on, which I'm actually running here. Uh, it's At the moment, it's quite manual, but if you just drop me a line, and I can tell you how to get that added. Building it into a plugin is a little bit more work, um, but if you're comfortable just popping in the short code and tweaking um, an action of a farm then I can let you know how that works um, if you've not signed up to this sign up as soon as possible because you will get emailed the plugins of the week so everything that comes in in that week gets sent out on a Friday morning at 9am via this MailChimp and via an RSS feed again if you're unsure about to do that just drop me a line um, so any of these other ones if you just click on vote on this it'll take you to our feature request and bug list on the support site so again here you can vote up or down um, any of your features that we're proposing so that's pretty much everything in the theme and it's also a nice little theme admin demo for anybody that's unsure of how to use the back end it's, re it's really straightforward really easy and in, in a matter of minutes you can have a website like this up and running and accepting user content and 
I've not seen a theme that's got as many features and there's so much in the works planned, please do pick up a copy. And if you've got any questions or any comments, don't hesitate to contact us and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.